Good morning, good morning, and good morning, and welcome to beautiful, beautiful Barbados on a magnificent Thursday morning. Check me looking at my watch to make sure I had it right there. Uh, I actually must again much fitter than I was before because I just came up Long Beach, almost at a sprint to get here. I thought it was going to take at least till five past. Got here at one minute past, and I'm not blowing, just sweating like a pot cover. But no, mind, not blowing. And you know, good morning to all of you all. We're starting this morning in the beautiful area, nature reserve area known as Chancery Lane Swamp. This is up by Long Beach. This is in the parish of Christchurch. And as you can hear, beautiful swamp birds all around. You can see them here actually in the swamp. Originally, this place was used as a shooting swamp many years ago. They actually had um, a hut that's located over here. You can see like, the structure just in the bushes there. You used to have a big um, hut up here. I remember up here very, very well. I spent a lot of my childhood up here. Wow, you must have said I spent my childhood all over the island. Yes, I literally did. Uh, my parents had some friends who lived in a home that was actually on this beach directly in these bushes here, behind these bushes. There was a beach house here we used to come to every year and we used to spend up here over weekends, especially over weekends with them as well. They wasn't lived in year round, but it was up here. There were a couple of them, but that was one for sure. This swamp used to actually extend from here right across to Inch Marlow, where there are a lot of homes and stuff that have been constructed over the years um, because we haven't seen the kind of um, accumulations of rain that we used to have and you know they've developed out in that section. But this area remains as it was. I'll let you listen for a second and listen to some sounds. Hopefully the swamp birds here will sing for you a little bit. Here we go. I actually did a sound video from up here um, a few months back uh, for the daybreak as the sun was coming up. Before this time, I was up here from about 5.30 and we had some sounds. It didn't actually quite wake up at that time. We did hear some monkeys in the distance. Obviously, in all that bush area there, you'll find quite a bit of monkeys. You'll also find along this cliff here, which you're seeing where this bush is, they're not just trees. There's actually a sheer cliff that's running behind that as well. Um, that's the first elevation from Long Beach Inn. And you will find lots of caves Directly in the center of the camera, you will see one area there, like it's a big crack in the cliff itself. That is one of the biggest caves out here, one of the biggest and deepest caves out here. I remember I used to um, live with some people or stay with some people up there at Chance Lane, great house as well, Skinners. And we, the younger generation, myself, we used to come on these cliffs all the time and run through all out here. Just beautiful, beautiful childhood memories, amazing times in this area. Now, when the swamp dries out, you'll find some of the boys on there in the big four by fours. They will come out here and dry boat a little bit in the drier areas. But I haven't seen a lot of that recently. I don't see a lot of tracks in the swamp. I only see this trap that leads through this area that we are standing on that goes out to the beach. A lot of the guys use for kite surfing, access for kite surfing, etc. All right, I think as we're here in this beautiful peace right now, we can enjoy our peace prayer. So let's pray for peace. God, grant us the serenity to accept the things we cannot change, the courage to change the things that we can, and the wisdom to know the difference. Your will not ours be done. Amen. Peace and tranquility beyond belief. What I can say, folks, is, is that we're going to have a real problem when we get around here. The wind is very strong today. Didn't anticipate it would be this strong. Um, it is a nice sort of like lowish tide. tide low tide was at 4.50 something this morning, so it's still on the lowish side. However, the winds are very gusty on the beach, so I know the gimbal is going to be blowing around. So apologies up front for any erratic behavior. Um, but at this stage again, I really couldn't go anywhere else that wouldn't have been affected by wind that we had not been recently. And I obviously don't want to continuously do what we've done before. I want to keep this nice and fresh and keep you all eager and ready to come back to Barbados by showing you things that you may not have seen before. And if you have seen them before, maybe things you've not seen for a very, very long time. We did a video up here, a live video around midday, some months back. Um, we actually did it in two sections. We did it here. And then we did it in a grove of coconut trees and we spliced them together at the end and put them up on YouTube. But this is the first time we've actually done a live in the Chancery Lane area. And it is just beautiful. Absolutely stunning. The view from the ridge up there is breathtaking. Um, I was up there a few weeks ago scouting just to check to see what kind of visibility they had. There is one area that we can look over. Um, it is just actually between those two structures there. Um, you can actually walk up there, but we see that, um, that hooded shed kind of thing there. And then you can look over from there. That is one area that you can access the cliff from. You do walk over a vacant lot. Now, many years ago, the Long Beach Resort, 
was located along that cliff, not where that white home is, but over to the right of that, um, say well, another three or 400 yards over to the right of that, that's where the Long Beach Resort would have been. The only thing that remains up there now is the pool itself, but the pool is being filled in, but you can still see the outer edges of the pool itself. That was a lovely resort. Again, another resort in Barbados that closed. They don't know why, because they always seem to have a very good occupancy rate. Swimming up here was not the best, but it did have the pool. And it most definitely had the best rum punches and happy hour that I remember. So I do have a little bit of memory. I say myself and the conductor, we were laughing at my brain cells, how I managed to maintain information still. I do not know, sir. I'd have to say by the grace of God, that's all I can say. It's beautiful out here. Now, when I first came across here, there were tons of little crabs that were in this water here. You would see them sort of like swimming around. I'll see if I can get one or two of them, but there were many of them. And you'll see all the little holes all around the water's edge itself. These guys obviously live in a very mushy and swampy area. Um, there were lots and lots of them swimming through here when they first came up. But they've all disappeared. As you can appreciate, anybody that moves into this area here, this natural reserved area here, would obviously disrupt the normal morning proceedings. So, you know, they would have gone. I'm surprised all these birds are here, which is great. Love to see them here this morning and listen to them. All right, the winds up here, as I said, are very strong. Um, I don't know how we're going to manage today with the gimbal, but we're certainly going to try. Sorry to have my other apparatus, but it's a little late for that now. There we go. Beautiful, beautiful sunrise. Now, I know that all the redness that we're seeing this morning, again, um, is associated with the Sahara dust. But I do know the old time saying that said, um, shepherds delight, sorry, uh, red sky at night, shepherds delight, red sky in the morning is a shepherd's warning. I've heard shepherd being replaced by fishermen. I've heard all different kinds of um, traditions being used or uh, work ethics and stuff being used. But I know for sure we call it shepherd's delight, or I do for sure. I know a lot of Bajan say fishermen. Beautiful morning, beautiful morning. Normally red skies in the morning are so associated with storms and coming storms and stuff. But they said this is not a storm. This is just because of all the Sahara dust. This is what we experience this type of the year, time of the year. Anytime between July and say November, when we have those systems that have come across the Atlantic, they also have um, a lot of Sahara dust with them. Usually in between the systems at this time of the year, usually they will dry out systems as we've seen recently and that is uh, just wrapped the moisture in it. For all of those that have asthma and sinus uh, you know, problems, this is definitely the time now that you will be dreading. All right, walking into the wind, I don't seem to be seeing the gimbal blowing every which way but loose, but it definitely is strong breezes today. Beautiful, beautiful Long Beach, just lovely, as untouched and as undeveloped as possible natural sand dunes that protect the intersection from any of the very rough sea conditions etc we'll be seeing them as we make our way along this area now this morning you'll see me come out here by myself and walk around quite comfortably as i told you all before i sort of like get a sense if there's a problem and i felt very good this morning but it's not somewhere that i would say for you and your partner just to come and walk around or but walk around is fine again stay down on the beach section away from the bush areas however i wouldn't I definitely wouldn't say that you should come out here and lie down on this beach especially in this section if you want to do it do it over to the south side where we'll be ending up we'll have some homes and stuff around it but otherwise uh, i really wouldn't come and lie here unless you have a lot of friends with you there are some kite surfing associations that will or clubs or groups that come here and do kite surfing on a daily basis well whenever the winds are good i should say um, so you can find groups of them up here and on those occasions fine come up here and put down your towel But otherwise that it is very lonely and very secluded and lots of growth here We have known to have had trouble here in the past So I just want to mention that so be alert This is not a place that you come and drop your guard. It's a place you come and maintain your guard Beautiful Beautiful morning. We're gonna go right down on the beach because we have a relatively low tide That's where we do our walk from and we'll enjoy ourselves. Now, as I said before, I, I forgot why this was called Long Beach. What you're seeing is not the end of the beach. That is just not even quite midway point. You'll see that in a few minutes time. But before we get there, I'd like to bring you around. Hopefully we can get around with the gimbal and just show you a couple of other things in the area before we start to move on from here. Up in distance on the cliff, you'll see all those structures. That is our, I would say our biggest defense force base. Um, that is the one up at, known as Paragon. 
and we have Danny Paragon Chris before you will be remember that quite well or you can look back in our YouTube um, channel and see them as well we did quite a few of them from up there um, there is a public access or a road access to the northern end of this beach here um, but it is very very um, rough now lots of big holes and stuff so again four by four in but you could drive all along that cliff here quite comfortably if you have a four by four uh, very easy access to it we've already mentioned about it about five or six different ways you can get down the cliff so if you can't drive the entire thing because of what you're in um, you can always go up and come back down later on in a different section but originally up here was very very popular at one time when Long Beach was up here used to get quite a few people who used to come up and uh, fishermen and stuff but you don't see many of them now with boats and things in the section at all beautiful cliffs what a lovely morning one more time we have the natural filtration of the Sahara dust which is definitely giving us the, um, the ability to look directly into the sun this morning without having to shut our eyes yeah darker makers would be recommended but you can get through right now just looking at that it's spectacular here swimming conditions up here this is uh, a place that you don't swim if you don't know what you're doing or if you're not a strong swimmer because up here it can get very very rough and very dangerous it has a lot of currents um, it, it slams you into the actual shore break itself it is similar to foul bay because the beach comes up very quickly as you can see so you get slammed into the beach and not um, drifted up onto the beach as you would on the south or the west so here is a place I would not recommend you come to swim with that being said there are some summer days that I've been up here that have been just like south and west coast or southwest conditions very very calm no currents no waves they don't happen too often but when they do you definitely take advantage of that for sure as you can see lots and lots of undergrowth overgrowth all kinds of growth all here now they say I know they say the hills have eyes these bushes have eyes so when you're up here please walk further away from the bushes now I am not walking away from the bushes because of a fear of being up there um, the reason I'm walking down here is because I want to bring you on to the actual beach itself you can enjoy the low tide with me or the partial low tide with me as we stroll however if you are coming up here you're taking photos and stuff please don't venture into the bush area unless you're with a group and you know stay away from up in that section in general again I'm not frightening you or not trying to so if you're feeling frightened at what I'm saying you're taking it the wrong way I'm just giving you words of caution you know by all means come up here take your pictures enjoy a beautiful walk on this beach but do so with all of your cautions intact don't come here um, as some people like to do when they're on vacation and drop all caution or throw caution to the wind and then find themselves in trouble just adhere to the right way of moving around just as you would back home there are places you wouldn't go back home unless you are being very very aware of what is around you so that's all I mentioned to do right now beautiful now all behind here you can actually drive um, if you have a 4x4 you can drive this entire length of this beach behind these bushes or in the bushes itself I'm going to take you up a little bit further on when we get by a grove and show you what I'm talking about but all of these spots here that you're seeing like um, gaps in the actual bushes and trees that's where you can drive through there are lots and lots of roads behind there and they are actually able to do it in a car as well but once again if you're coming up here just be wary of where you park make sure you can see your vehicle and do not bring any values with you please you can see it's a beautiful place for the sunrises being taken perfect morning if you have all the right filters and stuff in place beautiful beautiful day All right, what we're going to do is I'm going to up a higher elevation. I'm going to do a 360 for you, and then we're going to move on down the beach a little further. Right now, we have a little reprieve in the stronger gusts, so the gimbal should be able to come around with the 360. Hopefully, it doesn't start blow as soon as I get up on top of this ridge. Here we go.
rays of promises, promises of a new day, promises that we have the opportunity to follow our light and do so correctly in every possible way that we can. One more time, remember, we will never be perfect, but we can certainly, certainly try to be the best that we possibly can be. And then we will pray to God and ask forgiveness for the things that we have done which were not right or which were bordering on right and wrong. So here we go. I'm not sure if this photographer here is doing a time-lapse video. Um, so I'm going to just walk behind him and give him the opportunity to keep capturing whatever he is doing. And then I will work my way back down onto the beach itself. Oh, he's taking up his device so we can walk all over now. So we make our way back down. So as you can see, these are the track areas that you can drive through. Walking tracks, driving tracks, all behind here. This is um, very easily accessible. Someone can get from the north or the south side of this beach or the east and the west side of this beach, depending on which way your compass is, I'm not for sure. Um, quite easily without actually being seen because of the Come through, sir, come through. Because of the visibility. Good morning to you. How are you this morning? Good, good, good. You like to say hello to the world for me? Hello, world. Awesome. Awesome. Perfect. Perfect, man. Great. Thanks very much. Have a great day, guys. Okay. Wonderful. I love to include people, as you all know, but as you would also see, sometimes I'll walk by. Um, some folks will not put the camera on them. It's because I've either checked with them before or the vibe's not right. So. <laughs> That's something that you have to leave to my discretion and trust me, it will be included as long as I think it's good to do so. You know, you always have one or two people that don't like a camera at all. When I see a camera, the hair goes up in the back of their neck and they get all frustrated. That is not what we're about. We're not to create that because this is a peaceful, happy group. We try to create the best we can. So again, all these areas are parking areas. Now years ago, up here was really popular a picnic spot again. You would find cars and vans and I'm talking about a lot of people, maybe a hundred people, friends and stuff who would get together. Now when I say a lot and then I say a hundred, some people must be laughing and say, but that's not a lot of people. But for this kind of area that is so far away and stuff, uh, no, no resorts here at the moment. And mostly people be coming from all over the island for picnics. A hundred people is quite a big number for up here, definitely, especially as the kind of surroundings and stuff they are. And also the limitations on swimming and things. Just a beautiful, beautiful morning though. Spectacular scenery. Don't worry, we are going to be going for a swim, but we're going to be going for a swim where we saw last week. Well, not last week, earlier this week, my apologies. I'm losing time. Merges for me, to be honest with you. I have to keep checking my clock or to keep check, checking the calendar to remember when we are. You know when I tell you a happy Thursday? I'll look at my watch first to see THU. <laughs> I know for sure I got it on. I'm going to walk back down a little bit, then we go up into the grove that I want to show you in a minute. It's become a very popular camping spot for some of my friends, especially who do a lot of fishing, um, shoreline fishing and stuff. You'll find them up here, especially on bike holiday weekends. They will come up here and camp out the entire weekend. Just move away from life. And out here, although we're maybe a half mile from, from any kind of real commercialism and stuff, it feels as though you're 10 miles away from everything because you can hear the peace and quiet. I'm going to walk for you for a few minutes. Uh, actually, well, I'll let you watch the scenery for a few, few seconds for you to enjoy. Here we go. All right, they're a little faster. A little bit faster on my, <laughs> my one and across here. I don't want to blur everything. Just lovely up here. I, you know, I have already spent a lot of time up here, except for in my youth, because I said we used to be up here a lot. And then in my very late teens and early 20s, um, up at Long Beach Resort itself. And since then, I really don't frequent this area. It's one of the areas that I will drive through once in a blue moon. I've shown my angel up here, but that is it. I would just drive to it to show someone, not ready to come and spend the day per se. I go to other areas that are a little more convenient and easier accessible, uh, you know, so, this is something that I don't, as I said, I may do this here. Well, since I started doing the vlogs, I've probably been up here and that was in January. When we started in January yeah, 21st, when we started our lives, um, I've probably been up here maybe eight, 10 times. But normally a year, you only see me up here once a year, twice a year, if, if I come here uh, unexpectedly. As I said, it's not because it's not beautiful. It just is that there's no, there are no facilities up here, there are no conveniences up here. And as I told you, you have to keep your alerts up here all the time. Usually when I travel, I even travel myself, my angel. So we wouldn't come here and sit down. We come and have a look and move on. 
Now where we did our start our vlog from today was where we included the live one that we did before but as I said it was around midday time and this is the second section that we were at. I was actually wondering what had happened because remember it was a bank holiday weekend and there was no one up here whatsoever and I was wondering where everybody was but you know with the COVID and stuff that's going on a lot of people are not really moving around people are still playing it cautious especially right now but this is a popular spot I mentioned that you'll find people that come here and camp out and stuff over weekends as you can see it's a beautiful grove of coconut trees just stunning scenery from up here right in the center of the beach you can see to the south side you can also see to the north side um, so you know you're sort of like in a very good point here to to come and relax and camp out domino tables up here as everybody knows it's come to Barbados if you hear some slapping it sounds as though it's a carpenter at work it's not a carpenter at work it's usually a well that can happen too but it's usually some guys slamming some dominoes dominoes very popular sport here or I can't recall really it game because the music guy gets pretty serious about it but it is a very a very popular game here in Barbados I'll go back to that word all right just to show you I said I would bring you up and show you the pubs and stuff that run behind here just so you get a feeling of what's behind the bushes so you'll understand sort of like way give a little bit of an alert to this here constructed benches you can see this is perfectly set up for a weekend camping trip for the guys for sure you know everybody will drive their four by fours as I said before you know there is road accessible through all here if you have a good machine you can see it going there right now behind all the bushes where you see Percy white t-shirt and stuff that road runs the entire way along this beach you have to go in a little bit but the fair out here for you would be the dry sand because out here it has some deep pockets of very dry sand that you can easily get yourself stuck up so you don't be messing out here in a two by two or anything like that for sure but you see all the roads and the tracks that go down behind here i'm just going to take you a little bit in we can come back down the beach don't worry you're not running away from the beach for sure but i really would like to show you this now the house that i was mentioning that i stayed at used to be directly in this bush area here i remember that a long time ago the memories that are going through me right now are just amazing but that's where a house used to be at one time they only had like two homes out here and the, and the shooting hut remember that for sure and i remember two but i remember one that was a good and then the other was in a lot of disrepair but these tracks are the ones that i was mentioning i just like to sort of like show you why i do make alerts i don't like to just uh, give you an alert and not explain to you why because i don't want anybody to think that i'm trying to mislead you or put fear into you or anything but as you can see people can move quite comfortably along behind these great trees and stuff great trees cheese on yeah so, <laughs> sorry i just saw one or two green grapes thank goodness they're green and not ripe before somebody tells you try one eh? yeah as i was saying these tracks go all around here this is not the only one there are many more that run behind here as well it is a well-traveled area behind this bush here for sure but this gives you a nice little elevated view of the long beach section itself as i mentioned this um area here where the guys camp out is a perfect strategic point of seeing all of the beach line itself as you can see right now we're not actually there but you can appreciate there you can see everything that we are so here we go I just actually want to stop there in the sun just now while I was coming around. I didn't want to stop the silent 360, but I definitely want to see those rays that are coming off under the cloud. Is that not just gorgeous? Lovely. You know, as I always say, I love a clear day as well. Get a beautiful sunrise, but give me a few clouds any day of the week. Maybe not the haze, 
the hair is just a, an added thing today but give me a day that has clouds that I can really truly have a look at the sun watch all of the golden edges and stuff you know and see all of the shapes I just love that I love a cloudier day not a rainy day but a cloudier day for sure all right back down onto the beach uh, just to show you all I know that I have all my beach shoes but I brought my backup with me today I have my baby foot shoe so in case anybody says anything or thinks I have a problem walking to any cliff I have my my shoe for me for my baby foot so there you go <laughs> I came well prepared today I only have one of them but I can hop the whole way down the beach if necessary yeah I find treasures on the beach all over the place sort of like my angel my angel will come to this beach and by the time she leaves here hands full pockets may be full she got a bike well that's full of garbage because that's something she'll do everywhere no matter where she goes no matter how many times she goes there no matter she was there the day before for the time she gets out of the war wagon there's a garbage bag in her hand and she will not walk with me or pay any attention to me unless that is full so I usually look for garbage to put in it as well because I like to get her to talk to me quicker so I speed up the process 100% <laughs> I'm a smart fella you know that's for sure no she actually has made me very conscious of the environment and the surroundings you know being from Canada when she first came here you know Canada was the cleanest place I've ever seen because I went up there the first year well I actually went up there to ask her to come back with me and when I went up there I was like blown away at how clean it was you know I know things have changed all through the years and stuff I haven't been up there for a few years now but I know they're very conscious of their environment and you know kudos to them and thank you my angel for making me more aware of it out here is mainly mainly used now for windsurfing and kiteboarding however there are some really good conditions out here for surfing on occasions just lovely lovely beach break a little hard to predict the peaks but if you are a person that's very knowledgeable about here you can have you can get some incredible rides and there's some days that you can quite easily see where the lineup is and stuff however i i have not surfed here a lot i have surfed here when i was in my late 20s quite a bit but I haven't done so over the years, not over the last few years anyhow for sure, last 10 years or so, I haven't really surfed in this location. Again, you know, I just go for convenience. Up here is so unpredictable, you could drive all the way up here, find the winds wrong, find that the sand is built up and causing a problem with the actual lineup. You know, there are all different things that can happen up here, so I tend not to drive here, I would rather go to somewhere where I'm you know, more sure of the conditions. Now behind the sand dunes here, you see all these sea grape trees and stuff, we actually haven't quite got there yet but we're almost there um, there are a lot of homes that have been constructed over the years all that used to be swamp behind there similar to what we saw in the very beginning uh, just to show you what the sargasm does how it builds its wall and holds the sand in place this is sargasm mixed in with sand this is going to help to hold this beach in place you can see it's taking some wash and stuff but I just want to let you see what it looks like when it's actually decayed down and meshes out with the sand so that's interesting it forms like a wall you can see the multiple layers here now, if you've been up here three months ago you would have seen nothing but sargasm again uh, out here was packed up by Long Beach where we started it was about six foot wall of sargasm on the beach but it has no shifted you will never ever find out here without sargasm or without some form of moss and most definitely a lot of stuff floats in here like buoys and you know any anything like plastic balls and stuff this side captures a lot of it but uh, right now, you know, it will never be pristine like the other places, but you wouldn't expect out here to be pristine. I mean, look at it. It is just beautiful. This is natural, as natural as can be. Just lovely. It does get a lot less sargasm than this. This will all, this will all decay and dry away. Um, we usually don't get too much. I mean, it went on a lot later this year than normal. Um, I've commented on that before about how it had been wrong a lot more because usually by August it starts to clear up you know get your last trails in August we're down into October now as you would know almost in the middle of the month and we're still seeing some very small floats but we're seeing a lot of it on the beach but as I said before this will rot and go so this will not look like this it will look a lot lot better um, soon especially when the sand starts to come up and cover it you know you're seeing all this section here this wall that has been built with sargasm you can see it further on and this is just holding the sand in place goes up in multiple layers as well i think one of the big fears is when a system passes here to the 
uh, east of the island. We haven't really been impacted by a major hurricane for a very long time. 1955 was Janet and uh, that was the last major one. We've had Hurricane Allen that gave us a lot of winds and stuff and this year we had Elsa but it is um, you know not really something that we have had anything serious since Janet I would say that has been a consistent strong winds and heavy heavy sea conditions. That was before my time, long before my time as well just for those on here about to give me some licks in case they do um, but I have heard about what happened and I know for sure that these banks here would be under thunder if they had that kind of hurricane swell that passed there for sure. Beautiful, beautiful place. Really beautiful. If you want nature, you don't have to drive to the east coast. You can come over here, which is southeast side. Lots of sea spray this morning. The air is fresh. It has a nice little chilling effect to it. That's because the sun really hasn't come out yet. Um, they're predicting a warm day today. I know yesterday was quite hot. Although we had all of the haze and stuff, it turned into a very hot day. So today we don't have any hotels and things to talk about again. We can just basically talk about what is around us and the beauty of Barbados. Now we're finding really no one here. We've seen a couple of people walking dogs. They had a cameraman further up the beach. However, in high season, uh, you will find a lot of wind surfers out here and a lot of people are staying in the general area even when there's no wind they will just come out here and relax um, mainly on the section that we're going into now the other area we've come from you really won't find too many people not unless they're actually coming under and camping out but sea grapes all over the place everywhere you can look you can see them and as you will see everything has all the trees you can see take a battering up here from the consistent winds and stuff. All the casuinas are bent to the west because of the winds that come off of the east mainly. You can see all of that grove up there just beyond where that person is walking with the dogs. Um, you can actually see the shape of the trees and everything is actually being blown back because of the consistent winds all the time they're blowing. Alright, behind here you'll see some homes coming into view now. These are areas as I mentioned before. These are homes that have been built. Um, and what was swamp when I was a little fella uh, however it has been developed haven't seen any real mushy swampish stuff in that area and the homes are quite a few homes are developed down behind here I would like to say good morning at this time to the Burke family I'd like to wish uh, Josh all his success on his tour in France it's coming up now I'd like to say hi to all of them because I know they have a home behind here and this is you know this is where they have been for many many years in this section here so these are the conditions that they would train under and that they would surf in. So you can understand that they do a lot of training and conditions as they vary all the time give them definitely an edge over some other people that may only surf on the south or the west side. Because these kind of beach conditions are really good because they make you think quick, make you uh, respond quickly and most definitely make you very aware or you have to be very aware of what's going on. Morning, how are you going man? Respect buddy. So as you see this beach is real long, we've done 40 minutes of walking or close to that and we still haven't got to the end but we are getting there slowly but surely. If any of y'all guys have to go, I see the numbers are like 45 and stuff this morning. Um, if you have to go along please remember this will be up on YouTube probably in a better resolution later on. Recently we haven't been getting a very good upload from Facebook. They don't allow you to download the video prior to the upload um, anymore. That stopped a few weeks back. So where we used to get the source all the time guaranteed we sometimes can get 540 and we can you know it all depends on what we get on that day i guess it also depends on the signal conditions but i used to like when we used to be able to record from the source but hasn't been that way for a couple of weeks now beautiful beautiful nature again very wind blown from here you can see all of the southeastern section all up to uh, Ocean City and Green Point and stuff that's what you're seeing beyond here now now I don't know if the resolution is very good that you can see that but you can probably see it in the haze it's very very hazy again today just as we have experienced over the last couple of days one more time somebody up there with their pigtail bucket going around collecting sea grapes and stuff which are sold here at this time of the year I don't buy any at all. 
I'm waiting on my dunk season, which is right around the corner. Dunks are my fruit. Give me them any day of the week. Put a little salt on them and let me go at it. I will eat them until I edge my teeth. <laughs> I can't even brush your teeth properly in night time because of them. I remember my angel's first experience with dunks. Quite funny. That and Aki's. That was that was funny as well too. Well Aki being the Guinness, not the Jamaican Aki. Just let me clarify that. All of the homes up here are going to be designed completely differently. Uh, we have been on a section before we did talk about it but i will still reference it again homes up here you won't find a lot of glass you'll find a lot of wooden shutters and stuff you will obviously have the glass as well but they would have wooden shutters to protect them because up here is very very wind blowing all the time um, you have to get special nails and bolts and stuff anyone that tries to shortcut that has continuous maintenance all the time your fridges stoves any electrical appliances computers etc will take a battering the life expectancy on them will be far less than anywhere else on the island for sure and as you can see there's really no tall cliff here as you find around in St. Philip and stuff and this section here is on the southeast so this would take all of the big huge swells that come in and um, would hit on along this cliff area here so you know usually it'll diffuse a little bit on the outer reef and then reform so you don't get a massive swell hitting that cliff because if that was the case these homes would get washed away but they do tend to diffuse outside on the on the shelves of reef shelves that are coming in you will see that here you see their little areas they're breaking off land and then when it gets bigger it breaks a little further off land and then reforms and then breaks again so by the time it gets to the cliff it's not a full branded swell that's coming through to hit them long walk people long walk you know me I am I'm talking and I'm not blowing so you know what's happening fitness level coming up baggies getting nice and slack again gotta pull them a little bit tighter now I'm not trying to fight them onto the velcro so things are getting better for me for sure I'm actually looking forward to the big north swells that should be coming next month in December to cover the west coast for you because a lot of you may think the west coast is always like a lake I will surely change your mind when you see some of those swells we do have a few videos or vlogs up on youtube that you can have a look and the wave hunting or the wave breaks the barbados surf breaks the barbados we have two different categories up there you can find it in fellas out fishing man everybody their pvc tubing even if it's just a one day job beautiful morning fellas morning man you all good i got to go on to these want to say hi to people thanks man appreciate it man respect morning yeah these fellas all ready man doing the casting and stuff got a pvc tube in you know you can set up multiple multiple rods like that you don't have to stand with it in your hand all the time and i know guys i saw up by ocean city that had out like 12 lines you know and just two guys 12 lines out so that will tell you how the guys have now perfected the art of fishing up here so these homes you can see are going to be very wind blown very affected by sea spray um, you know by strong winds battered literally you can see a lot of wooden louvers we talked about or wooden shutters you will see glass but you will always see the wooden shutters as well to protect them and you know when they're not actually using the windows to look out or for lighting they will probably have the shutters uh, pulled in at most times up here if you're a mop if you're a person like me that has you know the syndrome of wanting to be clean around you all the time you're gonna have some challenges up here because up here you're gonna have to mop uh, sweep and mop all day long and wipe it is that kind of way well you'll see lots and lots of sea sponges in this section here a lot of them I saw them this morning coming up a lot more than I've seen up here last time they came up for sure we are seeing obviously the sargasm but you can see all of these sea sponges and stuff around here that and also the sea fans and the brown coral trees and stuff that get washed in with these strong sea conditions up here after a big system passes to the east of the island up here is quite amazing to come and walk around and have a look at it it's really all the stuff washes up here massive sea fans just beautiful all right i came across here 
very comfortably before and I'm now going down into almost ankle deep of water not so nice either not a nice sensation in big shoes if I had on my 4x4s four it wouldn't be a big problem but we're mushing our way through whoa almost lost a shoe Whew. the scent that came with that plunge just now was not the nicest but it happens all right we have another little blowhole here this is not like the ones that you will see on the other sections mostly a lot smaller cliff as well to a lot shallower cliff but it has the same effect as what you would find in the other ones you can see all of this area has been all the weaker matter has literally been blown out of place and you can see where the water comes in there underneath that shelf as well all right i'm going to be scanning while i'm walking and looking and hopping and skipping and jumping this is the kind of things you'll be in, uh, encountering i wouldn't recommend beat shoes smart me has them on but i would recommend something a little more sturdy especially on this cliff line we've talked about here already and you know how dread it can be so very sharp but right where i'm walking is not too too bad a little bit narrow but not bad at all not a big drop off you know i feel pretty safe there but look at the length of that beach folks long 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 hence the name still beautiful rays still no direct sun really still being covered a little bit by the clouds and also by the haze you can see all these sea fans here we talked with them this week when we did the section that came up from silver rock up to the same inch marlow area lots of sea fans in this section here but these sea sponges are the ones that have really surprised me at the amount of them i've seen now i don't know how many of you walked the section with me last thing that we did we did a little section from long beach to inch marlow before uh not not with the length that we did today but you will remember up here was nothing but sargasm and rough coral area you are seeing lots of sand that's being washed back up here we talk about about this quite often we talk about how the sand moves along the coastlines at different times of the year it starts to come back in this is some evidence of it here all here before we came across was bare coral when i say bare i mean just naked coral just look at some of these things here that you will be walking over if you uh, really want to do some adventuring in barbados just want to show you what it looks like and also let you enjoy the power of this nature enjoy this just beautiful but you can see the razor sharp coral here very very sharp no level areas there so depending on how close you go the coastline depends on the kind of attire you're going to need to use today because of all the sand and stuff i feel very comfortable in what i have on um, however you have to just be careful if you're walking these cliffs i will come a little better prepared than i have come today for sure you can do it barefoot if you want i've seen people do that as well but i'm not sure how soft your feet are i know soft mine are i wear shoes almost all the time or i did the job i was in 16 18 hour days was the norm many many days and i end without an off day shoes on all the time so my harder beige foot is now like a little baby's foot for sure soft and tender and gentle Jeez. <laughs> lots of pvc tubing all over we had a, um one of our uh emc members the other day was asking what they were a new member um it, you know it just tells you about how strong our membership is i didn't even have to answer the question by the time he got the comment it was already taken care of you know that's the interaction of our family the knowledge of our family thank you very much to everyone for being you know so kind and generous of your time and your knowledge with everyone access to here there's one public access here just before you get the zed's um surf adventure shop there is a left turn that would bring you up a road that would bring you to both the areas we were at the top where you saw the homes and then you could park here and you can actually walk through i've actually driven through here but i see a big rock that's been put in place to stop people from doing that now or you can drive from the other side i'll show you where that would be in a minute but when i was mentioning about all of the sea sponges and stuff just to show you what i was taking in this is a lot a lot a lot of sea sponge up here i don't know why um they would have had this massive movement of sea sponge i know that chris is on board a couple of other avid fishermen and stuff um i know the rough seas would move them for sure but i don't know if there's any other reason why they're breaking off or coming in in this amount anyhow this is a lot a lot of sea, a lot of sea sponge out here Now we talked about pools out here last time we were here as well too but the sargasm stopped us from seeing them there are quite a few rock pools that are in the cliff section itself 
just be wary again of the tides and be wary of the size of the swells that are out there um, because these these actually can cause some problems for you if you're in there and the big swells come in and pull you out that can happen quite easily you're seeing sand in the bottom of this here at the moment but you know um, it's not always this way sometimes there's no sand whatsoever we again covered that just now when we talked about how you can uh, you know see the sand that has come up here in the last few months in comparison to before but this gives you a lovely a lovely idea of this, the power of the swell now when out here is big on a southeast swell um, when there's the system usually moving well even it around February Mar well March and April when we get a south swell but mainly in the times when we get a big system passing in the hurricane season it will break another 50 yards outside of this coral reef here and work its way right along this reef the channel these guys are coming through just on the inside of Bowbells that is one of the our best ways to come up and approach up onto Long Beach area if you're coming from Long and Oystins if you're a fisherman is to come on the inside of that actual reef itself but as you can see takes and licks so if you don't have a strong sea stomach make sure and move your gravel because you will need it for sure thank you all for being on for this long one with me I know it's not um, a lot of entertainment as in things to be seen all around but if you enjoy nature and you enjoy walking with me I'm sure you've had a good time today because nature has been as beautiful as possible really can't beat up here it's different to what we've seen we've seen the train line down by Bath um, that was completely different from what we saw yesterday over on the east coast in cattle wash likewise completely different here again this just gives you an understanding of how different our coastline is around the island no matter where you go um, there always will be something that's definitely um, you know original to that area versus the other coastlines now we walked the other day from Rung, from Rung Rock by the well that's yeah out there by Silver Rock I like call it Rung Rock because there's a location over there that's called that as well um, we walked from there straight up here to what's called Woman's Bay this is all actually Woman's Bay that we're looking at right now um, we're going to go in this sea out here we're going to take a little dip you can see the tide is relatively low so it's not very deep so we just go into as far as we really can safely with the gimbal we do a water 360 and we take our sea dip for the day you know and call this a sea bath today for sure but too shallow to be a sea bath I had to do this on my knees and stoop in for sure gotta make sure I don't lose my my shoe for my baby foot oh we have some people coming this way that seem to know us let us move on over <laughs> good morning good morning let's just go over and say good morning captured and how are you all this morning hello 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 I ah uh, yeah there we go greetings introduce yourselves ladies yes, I'm Dominique. hi Dominique yes, wonderful wonderful great to see you all fantastic thank you I'm very good of seeing you all as well good yeah good excellent okay yep well we're here I'm glad you all came out good morning how are you okay so folks yeah yeah we definitely do that we don't fool around we don't like masks unless we have to yep 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 beautiful right yeah, notice the sand has come back a lot recently as well too. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. It's pretty nice right now though. All right, ladies, great to see you all. I'm just gonna go and wrap up with a little bit here, the guys. Huh? Take care. Okay. All right, folks. So you see, we people come out all over the place. The MC family is wide and spread all around the island, and all over the world, by the way. All in New Zealand, Australia, and everything. And I call them because they're the things I can remember <laughs> sure. all right now last time we were up here we saw there was a beach building but we didn't see it at low tide and again this is not absolute low tide it is relatively low but not as low as it can get for sure but it's beautiful such a lovely thing to run into some EMC members when we're on the road fantastic you know we don't really go and do th things together right now a couple of um, our members from Barbados want to join me on the walks but because of the hiking policies and stuff right now we've been trying to you know uh, just uh, make sure we stay within the correct parameters of the restrictions but we're walking further and further out now there was no sand here three months ago no sand anywhere here at all it would have gone right into the water section 
uh, right up to those great trees and stuff. So you can see it's beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. And this is a clear example of what I was telling you all about how the sand tends to shift on the south coast of the island. All right, I'm gonna go in just kneeling down because there are a few swells and stuff that are coming through. So I wanna be careful with the gimbal, but I do want to give you a little bit of a water time with us. Hold on one second, here we go. Oh yes, that was a good one. Now here we go, our so R360, we're going to be up and down because we're going to be watching for the swells and uh, protecting the equipment for another day. So here we go. I see one of the past time surfers when I was a little kid growing up before I even started surf is on this morning and I know he knows out here very well because he was what I had to call the left artist Jeffrey Kiefer good morning to you my friend good to see you on board this morning not sure if you commented but I did see just now that you were were viewing so good morning to you my friend beautiful so you're seeing how much sand builds up here now we also looked at the water pool that was up here in the cliff the other day and some people were saying they want to come up here and swim in it just be wary, this is the exit and the entry for the water that comes in and out. So you have to be careful. Sometimes it's not filled with sand, so there are lots of rocks underfoot. So you have to be very careful when you're going into that. I'll show it to you from the other side, but I wanted to just point out to you where the water comes in and comes out. So just be wary when you're in there, depending on the tides as well. See you all later, bye! Alright, we're going to wrap up here now, folks. Just want to let you know that I've had an amazing time. It is not the kind of uh, information that we would get if we were in any other coastlines but it is not the beauty that we would get if we were in any other coastlines either so this is something different something unique something very very special for me I've had an amazing time with you all my family now this is the little pool that we've talked about and that people have mentioned they want to swim in just be careful because if you're in here especially if you have any kids or anything uh, a lot of this sand is built up in here as you can see on the beaches this is not usually here it's a little bit deeper and water will pull you straight out under there so you just have to be very careful if you're up here especially with children this is the beauty of Barbados through my eyes this is the EMC gathering we are a family that believes in having the best possible lives that we can that we believe that being together in the morning exchanging love kindness peace care and hope is a positive way forward in life times are rough now for some of us that want to travel to this beautiful island but can't do so not not that they can't fly because their lines are coming but they're very concerned about their health and about coming to a foreign country and getting sick on that area so I understand all of that and I appreciate all of that and I trust me I respect your decision but if you want to come and join us in Barbados this is what we have to offer you this is just another section of the island that you may not be familiar with for those of you that have come here before on a cruise ship that hop off the cruise ship, jump in a vehicle and just coast around the upper ridges of the island and just have a scenic view from there. That is not Barbados. You need to, please, I'm asking, not you need to, but I'm asking you to consider doing a long stay vacation on this island and coming and understanding the culture, appreciating the friendliness of the people and definitely taking in the peace and the beauty that comes with this island. It's 166 square miles of nothing but beauty peace and love the general Beijing is the friendliest Beijing in the world I say general because there are some exceptions like anywhere else in the world but Beijing's are noted to be friendliest people in the world so to all of you all thank you for joining me again this morning remember I just want everyone to do their best today at being the person that they know they should be we will all fail today in some way or another but failure doesn't mean that we can't go on failure just means that we learn from it and we move on that is what we do you know as I said before we did yesterday talk about you know, sleeping in the bed that you may remember that you may forgive yourself but if you do something today um, that is really out of place that can go on forever in your life that can be a scar with you forever even if you forgive yourself so please do your absolute best today to be the best person you can be to love the way you're supposed to love to care the way you're supposed to care and definitely to live the way you're supposed to and live in the way you're supposed to is happy and with joy and with peace in your love and peace and love in your heart.
Have a great day, everyone. I love you all. I'll see you all tomorrow. Not too sure what we're doing, as I don't even know <laughs> up the morning when I get up what we're going to be doing. But whatever we do, we will be gathering for sure. And wherever we go, I can assure you, as long as it's in Barbados, we're going to be taking in some beauty that you will not find anywhere else in the world. Or if you find it anywhere else in the world, it will certainly not be any better. It will be as, this is as beautiful as it gets, and as pristine as it gets, and as lovely as it gets. Have a great day, everyone. Greetings from Barbados. I love you all. I'm a Beijing warrior. Warrior for peace, love, kindness, hope, and care. Have a great day.